Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a rather large haul from Karen Millen. Now I did spend just under a thousand pounds on this haul, but that's because this is my spring slash summer wardrobe. Now every season, so fall and winter, spring and summer, I spend a little bit more than I usually do throughout the rest of the year on a few really nice, nice pieces from somewhere a bit more high end than the high street. Um, and then for the rest of the season, I just sort of buy things from Zara and H&M, things like that. So I pair them or mix and match. But I like to have a few pieces in my wardrobe that are sort of a little bit more special to me and they feel a bit more well-made and that sort of thing. They have a little bit more about them. So that's what I've done. So I'm going to share with you my lovely spring wardrobe haul um, with Karen Millen. It's in this giant bag. I'm going to get some scissors and open this up. Okay, it's open. <laughs> Okay, so we'll go with this one first. And I will try these on, on cutaways as well throughout the video for you. I've got it all in size eight. One of the pieces is a petite. I'm hoping it still fits me because I do have a short body and I have long legs, so hopefully it works out that way. Um, but some of the pieces are from Karen Millen and then some are from Karen Millen with Lydia Millen collection. So I'm really looking forward to hopefully having this stuff fit me because it's just beautiful. And this is the one that I wanted in green. This is from the new Lydia Millen collection. Um, I did one in the green, but it was sold out and it's still lovely in the white. So I thought, why not get that? And if it comes back in stock in the green, I might get it too anyway. You might not, you might know which one I'm on about if you follow Lydia. So, this is gorgeous. So it's just incredible. And my partner loves me in white dresses. So when I saw this, I just thought, wow, that is incredible. Honestly, it's got so much detail. It's got big balloon sleeves with all this embroidered detail on it. It's so exquisite. And then it's got this sort of lace all over the back, all over the front embroidery. It's got a beautiful pattern, little sweetheart neckline. It zips up the back and then the skirt it's, I think it's like a, a soft linen. It might just be cotton. I'm not really sure because linen's normally quite stiff. Um, this could just be a brushed cotton, actually. Um, and it's got this sort of tuck, pin tuck. I can't remember what this is called, but it's it's both white. <laughs> so I'm very close to the camera there. It's um, well, it's hard to describe. I, I don't know what this fabric's called, but it's opaque, sheer, opaque, sheer, opaque, sheer sort of stripes. But it's lined so it doesn't matter so you can see it's like organza but it's not organza maybe it's a cotton organza or something like that but it's very soft it's so nice oh i hope this fits me it's so pretty Ooh, thank you gorgeous okay so this one i'm actually gutted about it doesn't suit me i love the dress in itself i love the detail however this high collar irritates the life out of me it's too tight around my neck and also i'm pretty sure my hemline is a little bit wonky i think it goes downhill just here i'm not sure um well if you can see it i can definitely see it it's about an inch lower on the lace here than it is on here i'm curious and i'm thinking maybe the blouse is also going to be returned because this neck collar is pressing against my neck and it makes me feel claustrophobic and I don't like things like that. Yes, it's a pretty dress. I do have others already like this. I just don't. Yeah, it's not for me, unfortunately. It is very, very sweet. It's very pretty, but I don't know. It's just, it's not, it's not giving me what I wanted it to give me, unfortunately. I'm excited to try all these on. Okay, so these are the reason I actually did a bit of shopping on Caramelin in the first place. It wasn't the Lydia Millen collection that caught my eye as much as this skirt. And then the model online, when I was dithering about buying it, I thought, mm, she didn't really sell it for me. But then I saw that Lydia had actually bought these and wore them in one of her latest reels. And I was just like, okay. She wore it so much better than the model and it looked so much nicer on her shape and the way she'd worn it and how she'd styled it. It just looked really, really incredible. So I just thought, actually, I am gonna buy it because I was on the fence I was almost off the fence on the way of buying it, but I just wasn't so sure. And then Lydia wearing it and styling it just pipped it for me and then I bought it. So I'm going to show you what I bought. Oh, it's 
gorgeous. I think this is the dress version. I hope these fit me because I think the dress one I had to get in petite because they didn't have it in the regular size. Um, I think they do have it in the regular now. So if it doesn't fit me, hopefully I'll be able to exchange it. Um, but I really hope this fits me. And it might do because I do have a short body and long legs. So this might be a bit much for some, but I just, I loved this pattern. I thought this was incredible. But how nice. It's like a military shirt dress with a big full skirt and it's a lovely thick cotton fabric it's got a really nice hem as well actually it's got like a very wide hem i love that i love that on skirts i just think it's so beautiful it's hemmed really beautifully incredible yeah so that oh i just love it so much it's really really nice it's like they're like big beautiful um they're not sunflowers, daisies, like wild daisies. Maybe, <laughs> I'm, not doing, I'm not very good on my botanics. Oh, it's so nice. I absolutely cannot wait to try this on. So I was in two minds about getting the dress or the skirt and in the end, I got both. So this is the skirt. So this also comes with a belt that matches. But I think I would actually rather wear this with my Louis belt because I just think it would look nice with a tan belt. But this is cute. It comes with like one of those sort of tie wrap it round sort of jobbies. The loop. And then the sizes are these poppers here. There's four of them. There's five of them. They go back on themselves and pop onto. There's a popper here somewhere. There it is. Like this. Very nice. But yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm going to wear this with the dress. We'll see. But I'll try it all on in a minute. Okay, so the dress is definitely not a me outfit. I don't know why, but I cannot pull this off for love nor money. <laughs> I, it's just not me. It's, it's too much going on. It's too fussy. Too much um, pattern, I believe. And it's quite a noisy fabric as well. So it's kind of off-putting as I'm wearing it. I've, I've paired it with some tan accessories, but I've got blonde hair and I think perhaps this outfit is actually more suited to someone with dark hair. So this one's definitely going back. I'm not sad about it. It was quite expensive anyway. So, but yeah, no, this is, this is definitely not a me and I definitely don't think it would impress my partner either. I think he would think that I look like a pair of curtains. So next up is this gorgeous shirt that I did purchase to go with something else in the haul. And it's the satin crepe long sleeve shirt in khaki. It's like an olive kind of green for me. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's really nice. And it's a thick crepe fabric as well. This shirt is not crepe. This is like a satin, satin sort of, and it's a nice thick one, but then again, this is even thicker. And then they do like a really, I'd say really cheap polyester satin, which some of Zara's blouses are in. That's so thin and you just freeze, freeze to death. But I'd say this is probably about four times as thick as the super thin ones that you can get from Zara. So it is worth the money and it's stunning. Just the colour is absolutely beautiful. I hope it fits me and I hope it looks nice on my shape. So next, full, full maxi skirt. I don't think it's a maxi skirt or midi skirt. It's about mid ankle calf height. Calf height, I think. They call it maxi, I'm not really sure. It doesn't reach the ground anyway. This is called, oh, I wish I could read that. I think it says Petite Vintage Cotton Sateen Midi Belted Skirt. So it's a midi, midi length. So it's absolutely gorgeous. It is a really nice length. And I've just found out it's got pockets. Ha ha. Sweet. I wonder if the dress has pockets. Anyway, lovely. Okay, so again, I like it. I don't love it. I don't know what it is about it. I think the length is okay. I think it's a waist. I'm not sure about the waist. I think it keep it like it dips down on me. Maybe I prefer it with a thicker waistband or something, where it would come up a little bit higher. 
Um, I mean, you can pull it up, but then it won't stay there because it's it's not it's not meant for that. Um, yeah, I like it. I don't love it. So unfortunately, I'm going to send the green skirt back. It does have pockets. It is a cute dress, but women of my age, we have to be careful between. There's like you can dress too old, if you know what I mean. Like there's dressing young, there's dressing appropriate, and there's dressing old. So there's a there's a balance where it's appropriate, where it looks maybe too young, or it looks maybe too old. And I think some of these. Especially when you're going for the longer length, um, they can start to make you look older than you are, which is obviously we don't want to do that. So I think this outfit is cute, but again, it's not quite me. It's going too far to grandma chic. I like a little bit of grandma chic, but I don't like this much grandma chic. If you catch my drift, yeah. So yeah, I'm not a fan of the cut of the blouse, the shirt either. I think it's too billowy at the sides. It's not fitted enough. For me I don't have a large bust so it's not um, that's not getting sort of created for me it's got darts at the side but it's not really doing a lot to be honest with you so yeah both of these going back unfortunately so next is this gorgeous ivory blouse and this is from the Lydia Millen collection and this is called I've got my glasses on Lydia Million, <laughs> Lydia Million, Lydia Millen cut work embroidery woven blouse, and it says it's in white, which is I thought it was ivory, but this is the one that's got that lovely detail on the neck. And you know me, I am definitely a lover of you know bougie blouses as such. I just I love to wear blouses, so this is gorgeous. I'd say for me, it's got and it did look like this on the website. Um, it's quite wide at the base. I'd have preferred it to be a bit more cinched in, so you could wear it definitely with things. Um, and maybe like a long skirt and things like that and it would just look really really nice because oh, it's, a, it's a bit of a tunic shirt but hopefully it will look nice on me hopefully I'll like it, I won't have to send it back so it's got beautiful detailing on the sleeve it's absolutely incredible and it feels so nice and it's really really lovely quality I'll be trying this on before I have ironed it and seamed it because I just don't think I have the time this evening to do that I might sort it out and iron it um, before I try it on but who knows if I can squeeze that in my time but I think it's absolutely beautiful it's such they're just really 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 nice the way that she's made these with Karen Millen there's so much more detail in the items now okay so as it's intended this is a no from me I am not into baggy clothes at all I'm going to tuck this into my trousers and see if it could work. The, the neck's not as tight on me as the dress is. It is still a bit tight, so it's probably still going to be a no for me. Um, but I really like the sleeve detail and the neck detail. That is really pretty, but obviously tucking it in, you're going to lose the skirt detail on the lace at the bottom. But I'll tuck it in and then I'll see what I think then. Um, I think I've already decided I'm not going to keep it because it's just... It's too much of a tunic shirt for me. Like it's, a, it's too billowy, it's too much going on here. I've tucked it in, but it's, I can feel it or it's very bulky here around and my back. And it would be, it's just a bit of a pain to like tuck it all in and get it to sit nice. So I just, it would frustrate me putting this on to wear. It is beautiful. I do think if this had been made more as a fitted style blouse, like if I pulled that in, I think that would look so much nicer because you've got this sort of sweetheart bodice bodice um, design on it. I just think that would have been so much more flattering for the female form rather than the, the billowy, almost dress-like tunic style of this blouse. The sleeves are incredible, they are giving me life, but I'm, unfortunately I'm just going to send this one back as well. So Because I do have lots of blouses that aren't so frustrating for me to wear I feel so yeah this is a no from me as well so next up is the lovely sleeveless jacket that was in Lydia Millen's previous collection so she's just brought out some lovely sort of springtime dresses and this is a jacket from the previous collection to that which I think was in December I had my eye on it for quite a while and I was I'm in an iron and then because I bought this up I might as well just get it because I keep thinking about it Keep going back to it so i just got it in the end i wish i bought it earlier now but i probably wouldn't have worn it as much to be fair because I haven't really had the weather for it but 
So this is gorgeous. This is a boucle fabric. Sleeveless blazer with a double belt. That's a part of the reason I bought it as well, because it does have the double belt in it, and they're um, really nice. And I do follow Lydia Millen on YouTube and on Instagram, and some of the outfits she wears are gorgeous, and she always seems to pair them with her lovely um, Alexander McQueen, I think. Double belt, and it looks wonderful. So this is Karen Millen's version of the Alexander McQueen belt. I can say I'm pretty sure that's who it's by. Um, yeah, so this is the blazer. It's really nice. And it's got a pop fastening at the base. At the end. Do, do, do. See if I can pop this open. There we go. So it's a pop, one single pop fastener. And it's really nice and it's got the frayed edges of the boucle. So very, very, very nice and very classy. This would be incredible with like a pair of really nice tailored trousers and some up to the knee, knee-high boots, like maybe the ones that just sort of cover the kneecap, that would be so, so structured and beautiful. Oh, that's lovely, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to trying this on. So I was sure I was going to love this sleeveless jacket, but unfortunately, the belt is no good. Plus, it's incredibly tight up under the arms, and this bit is kind of annoying, to be honest with you. It keeps bunching up my hair at the back. It's so tight. It's a size eight, but it feels like it's a size six. Perhaps it's been labeled wrong, but it's it's not good. The belt is, is not good either. I'm really just, I'm so disappointed. So this has never happened to me before. I've never done a haul like this and just not kept at least one item before. Um, absolutely everything is going back to Karen Millen. I've got to go shopping again, try and find my spring wardrobe. I'm quite shocked, to be honest, and a little bit depressed because looking online, I really, really loved all of these pieces. They just did not suit my body shape, my hair colour, whatever it was, they didn't suit me. So unfortunately, back to the drawing board. But if you'd like to purchase any of these items, I will link everything down in the description box because perhaps you have brown hair, perhaps you have a fuller bust than me and you can get away with it. Or maybe you have a, a smaller back and could wear this jacket. But Unfortunately, no, it's for me, but if it's for you, there's some links in the description box. I do earn a small commission through anything purchased through my LTK links, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. It just helps me out a little. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video, regardless of how disappointed I am. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you again soon for another video. Take care, bye!